the lure of interactive toys. Toys that promise to make your little one smarter, better coordinated, more capable of making his way in the world. Parents are being told by the media and by the toy manufacturers that these toys are good for their children and will stimulate their children's development. And there's certainly no scientific proof from the toy manufacturers that this is in actuality the case. More than 50% of new toys being manufactured today are considered interactive. That means they contain a microchip, which allows them to respond in some way to your child's actions. And while such an interactive toy can seem endlessly amusing to a child, Dr. Schifrin sees a darker side to their appeal. The parent has to know that what the toy says it's going to do and what the toy delivers may be two very different things. So what toys does Dr. Schifrin recommend to the parents of his patients? Here's a wonderful toy. I mean, here's a wonderful toy. You know, uh, twelve dollars. Here's a wonderful toy enhancing the skills of small muscles and problem-solving skills for a ten-dollar price tag. This toy is truly interactive, and yet it doesn't have a battery and it doesn't have a chip. He also likes Legos and other types of building blocks. Arts and crafts like clay, finger paints, and crayons rank high on his list. Dolls, stuffed animals, even trucks make the cut. My favorite toys are interactive toys where the youngster can make the toy do what he or she wants it to do. Another favorite is not really a toy at all. If you want to buy your youngster a truly interactive toy that will last forever, start in the book section. Every youngster loves to sit in their parents' lap and have them read a classic book. Interpretive reading for youngsters is great because it's language formation, it's social connection, and it's emotional calories. Which brings us to Dr. Schifrin's all-time favorite interactive toy. Oh, yeah. The best interactive toys for youngsters are people, parents, other playmates, and siblings. 